Ralph Irvin in Thousand Oaks, where the USA men's water polo team has just wrapped up preparations for the 2012 Olympic Games in London, England. Of course, two members of UCLA's family on the USA water polo team, that's UCLA head coach Adam Wright and former goalkeeper Shayla Peen. I think it's almost a dream. In 2008, I, I tried out for the, uh, the team and I got cut which was a little disappointing, but I was young and I looked up to a lot of these guys on this team since I was 10 or 12 years old. So I can't explain in words what it feels like to actually know that I'm going now. You know, it, it doesn't really hit home until, uh, you know, you walk into that stadium um, to know that you're representing your country. Um, you know, I've had the opportunity to do it before, um, but really there's nothing like it in the world. Um, to be able to represent your country, um, to put four years into two, for all for two weeks, and um, most importantly, to do it with a group uh, that you really care about. There, there's really nothing better. Um, you know, this time around, you know, you ask uh, how cool it is. You know, we, we have a little bit more pressure. We had a result last time, so um, at the end of the day, we, we have high expectations going in. Um, but it, you know. Going to the Olympics will really set in once we get checked into the village and, and, and do the opening ceremonies. Until then, trying to just keep a level head. Two years ago, I put all the marbles on the, the plate, and um, to, to know that it paid off was a great, great feeling. I went through so many ups and downs stress-wise, and just knowing that I stuck with the vision of going all the way, was it was awesome. I've always... Uh, try to be a student of the game um, you know but now you know I, I look at things a lot more in depth when I get home after trainings to make sure that I'm very clear on what we're trying to do as a team um, also when we analyze other teams uh, you know I, I, I'm just going trying to cover all corners just like I do uh, with the UCLA team um, but really I've always always been thirsty uh, to, to know as much as I can about not only what we're doing but what other teams are doing so um, the biggest thing is is just going diving in a little bit deeper now. Yeah, I might not get very many minutes there, but I'm playing behind one of the best goalies in the world right now, which I gained ton experience from, and it it gives me a good leadership base and experience for the future. When you've had some sort of uh, good result, uh, you're expected to do well, and you know not only here with the national team uh, in 08 we got the silver medal. Uh, so our expectations are high. Teams are going to come after us, you know, but also at UCLA, you know, we've been in that before. In 09, we were the runner-up, and last year we were the runner-up, and I can guarantee you everybody wants to beat us there too. So, you know, expectations always go up when, when you have results. Adam's obviously a player here, so he's been playing for 12-plus years on this Olympic team, and I think the interesting and cool thing was is growing up in Long Beach, I had Adam co coaching me in high school, and then he coached me in college, and then now uh, a teammate. So it's a, it's a funny, interesting dynamic. Once again, UCLA represented with two members of the Bruin family on the USA Olympic team. Of course, the best news and notes on UCLA water polo as well as USA water polo. You get it all right here at UCLABruins.com.